What's up, guys? Uh, I didn't make pregame videos this week. Probably should have. They were two pretty interesting games, two games that would have been interesting to talk about, but I didn't get around to making pregame. But um, I'll go ahead and talk about it now after the fact. Um, Huskies and Utah, I'll lead off with that. I'll have my dessert first, I guess. Kind of what I expected, I suppose. Um, Utah, this was a big game going into Utah. This was by far the best team we played this season. And I knew it was going to be close. I knew they were going to put up a good fight. But at the same time, throughout this entire week, I was confident that we were going to find a way to win. And I was never too concerned, like, oh, we're not going to, we're not going to win. I, I felt like it was going to be close. I knew they were going to push us, but I didn't think we were going to lose. And we took care of it. Um, defensively, not our best game, admittedly. I mean, it wasn't our best game, period, but Utah's really good. So whatever you want to say about the way this team is playing, uh, you have to qualify it with, we played a very good Utah team this week. Um, the Utah offense we did good against. Um, the quarterback, uh, Troy Williams, the Utah quarterback, who used to be a Husky, he played like one game for us, and then he got a... Um, he, tra he had to transfer to Utah because we like Jake Browning better. Um, he, he, he didn't do very much. He's not the kind of quarterback who beats you with, through the air very much anyway. Uh, 14 of 31, 163 yards. We didn't get a lot of pressure on the guy, admittedly, but he didn't hurt us because of that. So whatever. We, um, we were missing Joe Mathis. Uh, yeah, Joe Mathis. We didn't have him out there. And that hurt our pass rush, I think. And to me... We gave up maybe two or three big plays in the passing game. But other than that, we... Um, good job there. Running game. A couple of holes in the running game. Joe Williams had a really good game. Um, he didn't, like... He didn't run up and down the field like, you know, some Tecmo Bo Jackson type shit. But he played a very effective, efficient game. He averaged five yards a carry. He, he, he got he had a big workload and he did well and he kept Utah in this game for the most part but knowing what Utah does well we did good we did good on defense offensively Jake um, not his best Jake was not at his best at all and that's a good Utah defense I'm not slamming the guy but he was very very just okay out there yesterday. He had a bad interception that really let Utah back into this game. Terrible turnover, terrible throw. Um, didn't make any huge plays down the field or anything, <clears throat> but he was mostly effective. And today was not really about the passing game. Today was about pounding the ball. Miles Gaskin was the best running back out there on the field today, and it could have very easily, that could have very easily not been the case. I mean, Joe Williams on the other side is a very good running back. And Miles Gaskin was, you know, eight yards per pop. Just a very, very strong effort from him. Uh, LeVon Coleman also played very well. And basically our running attack, especially in the later portions of this game, just controlled things. So it was just a good game. It wasn't a great game. We had problems. The pass protection was pretty good, not great. Passing attack in general was okay, but not great. Tackling was a little sloppy at points, but not like the Arizona debacle. It wasn't like the Arizona game where we were just getting our ass kicked and couldn't tackle for shit the whole game. So, and of course, special teams. We made a couple field goals, which, good to see, because Cameron Van Winkle, we don't know about that guy right now, but good to see him knocking a couple kicks. And, of course, Dante Pettis. Dante Pettis. Been a great kick and punt returner for us for a couple years now, and he had the biggest play of his career last yesterday. Um, just a pretty good game by the team against a very good opponent in their house, so can't get frustrated with the fact that this game was tied with five minutes left. That That's just what happens when you play good teams. About the worst I can say in terms of being critical of this team right now after beating a good team is... On all three of Utah's touchdown drives, they had a third down play where they were stopped and we committed a personal foul penalty. Two of them on Azeem Victor, I think another was on, might have been JoJo McIntosh or Keyshawn Biera, I can't remember who it was. 
Um, one of them was bullshit. One of them was garbage. Another was an accident. Victor just grabbed a dude's face mask by accident. Whatever. Um, and the other was just stupidity. But um, that's something that we've seen in a couple other games this year. We do not need to be making things harder for us because we are a very good team. We are one of the best teams in college football right now, but we don't need to be making it harder for us. We are not on the Alabama level or the, I would even say, the Michigan level. Michigan didn't play that well yesterday, but you got to gotta clean that up. And I know they're just college kids, and I know they're not like professionals who are supposed to conduct themselves in a certain way because they're getting paid millions of dollars, but that was um, getting a little out of hand, and it could have cost us in this game. All right. Um, other than that, we're number four in the nation right now, and not much is going to be able to move us if we don't lose a game. If we keep winning, nothing can move us out of the top four. It doesn't matter what the you know AP wants to do with the SEC. It doesn't really matter how much the, the college football playoff wants to get certain teams in. We keep winning, there's not anything they're going to be able to do because Michigan and Ohio State still play. So, you know, Ohio State, if they find a way to creep back up into the picture with their one loss, they're going to have to beat Michigan to do it. And, you know, one way or the other, it's going to work out. Obviously, Clemson has had a couple close calls now. I was hoping that, you know, Florida State was going to come through for us yesterday. Didn't happen, but... At the end of the day, guys, if we win all of our games, we will get into the playoff. And if we don't, we are not getting in. If we lose one game and a whole bunch of other teams lose one game, we're not going to get any. We're not going to get any favors. It's, it's just not. I I don't see things playing out that way. I think that we are a team that the college football playoff will look for an excuse to take out before they look for an excuse to put us in. Eight and zero feels good. Very happy. But uh, looking forward, the rest of the teams we play, they're not that great. Washington State is playing well. Other than that, there is nothing in front of us that we should not be able to handle. And we should be able to do so looking very good in the process. All right, guys. Um, that was the happy news from this weekend. So I'm, I'm happy with the way the team's playing. And uh, I'll come back with the bad news in one minute here. And I might get a little heated.